Hope you guys had a great summer. Um, I know when you coach football, man, there's nothing like being out here uh, with these players in training camp this time of year. Obviously, a ton of optimism around here. Um, and I, I feel very fortunate. I know I said that a year ago, but being in this building and with the ownership and the people in the front office, obviously the head coach for me is huge. Um, and uh, having the opportunity to do something that you love is, is incredible. So um, I'm having fun. We're having fun. We got a lot of work to do. Um, as you guys know, the back end of the roster turns over every year. So there's a lot going on out there, but it's all, also an exciting time of year for us. Competition is going to kicker and long snapper, obviously pretty prominent. Is there a difference between, I don't know if this makes sense, but the difference between picking the best kicker and the best long snapper, and picking the best um, like unit that works together? Does that mean, like, could that break a tie if these two guys yeah. really work? Um, no, I think it's a good question. Uh, is there a difference? Um, yeah, sometimes, you know, this, uh, what do they call that? Uh, synergistic effect. Uh, some of the parts is greater than the whole. Um, with a combination of this three versus that three, I think that's possible. Um, but ultimately, I think usually that happens with the best player. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about both these guys. Um, I hate it that we had to get rid of Badgley. Um, it's just part of the deal. Um, anytime you're looking to try to upgrade your roster and improve, um, you got to make changes and you got to go through some players to find good players. Um, sometimes, but I'm really appreciative of what he did for us. I mean, he came in here and saved us an important time last year. Um, so I have a lot of respect for him and uh, think very highly of him. But uh, I am excited about the two guys we have. I think Coach explained it pretty good um, a while back when he talked to you guys about the differences of those three players. But we feel like we got two guys, one in a you know, he has a lot of talent, leg talent, and Romo. Um, so he's got a lot of leg talent, and maybe he needs a little bit more development, but we feel like he's done a nice job. And then a little bit more consistent, but a young player. And uh, and Patterson, who obviously we know a lot about and had. And the truth is, he's really coming along, and uh, his leg strength's really increased. He looks really good um, in the training camp. So I'm really excited about him. And I think sometimes with young players, you see that where they bounce around a little bit for the first couple of years, and then all of a sudden they start to grab grab a hold of something there. So um, hopefully he does that for us. But yeah, I'm encouraged. You didn't have uh, long snapping competition. Last year, you, you, uh, you bring in a, a pretty established Pro Bowl caliber guy in Jake. So uh, what did you want to see out of that competition? What have you seen? So yeah, far? so at the end of last season, um, you know, I, Daly's done a great job since he's been here. Um, but at the end of last season, I felt like personally, and him and I have talked about this, but I felt like personally he, was, he didn't make the step forward that we wanted to see from him. Um, from the year before. And we thought he got better, but maybe he could get better at a faster rate. And sometimes um, competition helps accelerate that process. And then the McCoy thing kind of fell into our hands. So our plan was to bring in another guy. Um, and we didn't think it was necessarily a veteran guy like that. And then McCoy ended up really reaching out to us and he wanted to be here. Um, his family's down in Ohio, not too far away. And uh, so for him, this, this place made sense for him. And in that process, we're very forthcoming um, with what the opportunity looked like. And um, if it were even, then, you know, Daly would end up getting the nod over him. He was going to have to come in here and beat him out. Um, so anyway, um, that's kind of the situation with those guys. Obviously, I love having McQuaid here. I mean, this guy's a high caliber player. Um, played in the Pro Bowl, um, been a great snapper his whole career. He's been a guy who I've watched on film just in terms of protection and being an example when I was in Philadelphia with Rick Lovato, being an example of how to protect on punt. Um, he's obviously, he was coming off a tricep injury and uh, um, so he's been working through that. He's been healthy since he's been here. But um, anyways, uh, so we're obviously thrilled to have him. He's just a total pro, and I have a ton of respect for him. And the competition's going great. Both these guys are playing at a high level right now, so we're excited about it. You guys 
uh, re-signed uh, Justin Jackson. He was obviously very good at returning kicks for you last year, Dave. Uh, is that kind of his job to lose, or is that still a pretty wide open competition, or kind of where do you feel like that kickoff return job? Is that yeah, uh, it's, it is a good question. Uh, is it his job to lose? I think, yeah, in a way it is. Um, you know, he did it for us a year ago. He played well for us. But uh, at the same time, I would say, a lot of times that job is not like, okay, you're the best kick returner, you're going to make the roster and you're going to be here. Um, sometimes it's like, what else does that guy do for the football team? And I think at that position as a kick returner, um, you got to be more than just a kick returner and you got to have more value than that. So I think ultimately that position will come down to who gives us the most value on the roster. Yeah, he's been great. We put him in the personal protector position. That was obviously a concern for us when CJ, you know, is out. Um, but uh, he's done a great job with that. I've been pleasantly surprised. Now, he did do that when he was with the Chargers out there in L.A. Um, so he's had some experience doing it. So it wasn't brand new for him. But, um, yeah, we feel really good about him doing it right now. I just want to have a kicking question for you on, on identifying Romo because I know he you know, didn't kick much in college. Didn't Rizzy, I don't know your relationship with him. I know he was there last year. He, he seemed to think, yeah. Parker seemed to think that was a big reason why. Yeah, no, you know, our uh, our personnel guys upstairs, our pro guys actually came to me about him, and I didn't know a whole lot about him. Um, so we ended up picking him up and bringing him in, and then after the fact, I did hear from Rizzy, but um, it wasn't before, so really it had nothing to do with it. Our, our pro guys do a great job of uh, identifying players. I mean, they're all over it, as good as I've been around. Um, so I'm very grateful for those guys. Gunner is such a prominent position special teams um, seems like you've been kind of cycling through a lot of guys that are trying to um, you know, find that right match you know can you just characterize what you've seen out of that competition any guys kind of standing out as you head into joint practices you want to get a closer look at yeah I, I would I would hold off on saying I mean really that position you're going to find out a lot once we can tackle and finish the play and who can show up down the field so right now there's a lot of drill work and you know you think you're more excited about one guy than the other but um, it'll help us out this next week when we go against the Giants in practice. That'll be a part of the practice format, uh, getting those guys reps, competitive reps on the outside, and then obviously these preseason games. But right now, you know, it's, I think I said a year ago, you're, you're just trying to build a large volume of like a catalog of information on every player. What positions can he play? Can he play gunner? Can he play a wing on punt? Can he be a personal protector? Um, and then you know, can he play the front line on kickoff return? Can he play in the back end? And really, because what ha what happens is when the roster gets cut down, then it's like, okay, now these are the guys we have. How are we going to play them? And how can we make the best unit that we can make? And it doesn't mean they're always playing the position that would be best for the individual to play. It just means that, you know, with the 11 guys we have, this will make the best group that we can make. So for me right now, a lot of it's like just trying to find out what, what can these guys do? What do they do best? Um, what position should we put them in? You know, when we end up being told these are the guys you got, figure it out. In the uh, kickoff kicking battle, how much do you weigh the kickoff <laughs> itself rather than field goals? Yeah, that's a, it is a great question because that does kind of go back even to the Badgley decision. That that would be not his strength, um, and it's hard because you know you got to. We have a punter who can kick off. So that's a great option for us. And we're fortunate to have that with Fox and he does a great job with that. And I think ultimately as a coach for me, when it comes down to game day, we're going to make, we're going to play the best players, the guys who help us win the most. So if that means Fox is kicking off, that's great. But I think you hate being backed into a corner where if something happened to Fox or he wasn't feeling great or he was fatigued and he didn't want to put his leg in a stressful position, then you want to take that kick off off him. Well, then who's doing it? Well, if you don't have a kicker who can kick off, now he's forced to do it. Now you're pushing him through that. Now something happens to him. Now you're really in trouble. Or something happens to him. You have a kicker on the roster who can't kick off. You're looking for a punter, but now your punter's got to kick off also. So the guy you bring in as a punter's got to kick off, and now it limits you um, as to who you select as a punter. Um, so the more these guys can do, obviously, the better. So 
um, yeah, how important is the kickoff? I, I think personally it's important. I think a kicker in the National Football League should be able to kick off at a high level. Um, and then if your punter is fortunate to be able to do that too, you could pick the best one on game day. But someone could say that the kicker position kicking off isn't as important now, maybe with this fair catch rule and all that. But I would say that if the kicker's not great at kicking off, they're not going to fair catch the ball. They're going to be returning it right back at you. So it's important that you're good enough. Can you talk about the value of having a veteran like Jalen Reese Maven back with the Lions and, and contributing on the special teams? I think everybody in this building feels great about having Jerem back here. I mean, he's a great player. He's a great person. Um, you know what he is on special teams. I think the defensive guys know what he is on defense. You don't have to worry about that spot. And we lost some good players um, a year ago on board and Woods and some of those guys. So getting a guy in like that really helps take some of the pressure off these other guys. Daily, maybe not taking that step forward as quickly as you hoped. Um, seems like maybe Jamar Jefferson was a guy like that that didn't come as quickly, but it looks like he's making more special teams impact what, what have you seen from his development there yeah i don't think i'd put jamar on the same boat um because just because he really hadn't played for us uh during the regular season um and daily's been playing but um in terms of jamar's development i mean i think he's developed every year he's been here it's obviously his third year um so it's a big year for him i do think he's gotten better more consistent more dependable from my standpoint, and then we'll give him a bunch of reps in the preseason to see what he does. Thank you. Right, Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys have